Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwais and this is our 21st video in Python 3 programming language and our 7th video in Python object oriented programming concepts. Uh, in the previous video we have learned uh, about super function in uh, Python object oriented programming language. Uh, in this video uh, we are going to talk about hierarchical inheritance. So in the previous videos we have learned about inheritance, multiple inheritance, uh, and multi-level inheritance. So in this video we are going to talk and also create an example of, of hierarchical inheritance. So in Python object oriented programming when a base class derived from more than one class then that is called hierarchical inheritance. So uh, for example in here we have a class A. Now also we have three more classes. We have class B class C class D now uh, class B inherit from class A uh, class C also inherit from class uh, A and class D also inherit uh, from class A so now this kind this kind of inheritance is called hierarchical inheritance and uh, between these draft classes class B class C class D there is no relationship but there is relationship between class A and class B class A and class C class A and class D now uh, I'm going to open my PyCharm ID and I want to show you a practical example. So now uh, I have opened my PyCharm ID and uh, uh, this is from the uh, previous video that we have talked about super functions. And now I'm going to uh, create a new uh, Python file and uh, uh, I'm going to call it uh, PyRer. Uh, let me call it hierarchical inheritance okay <coughs> now uh, for inheritance we have told for example we have a class A now uh, let me first uh, show you uh, th like this after that I'm going to create uh, an example so this is my class A and I'm going to mm, leave it blank uh, after this I have a, another class for example class B now this class inherit from class A uh, also I have another class uh, class C now this class also inherit from class A uh, I have another class uh, class D now this class also inherit from class A now for this kind of inheritance we can uh, call uh, hierarchical inheritance uh, between these uh, draft classes there is no relationship but uh, uh, there is a relationship between A and B A and C and also A and D so now uh, I'm going to uh, remove this. For example, uh, I have a class animal. <coughs> now in this class animal, <coughs> okay. Now in this class animal, I have a run uh, method, and let me give a argument and uh, self dot name name. Okay. Also, I'm going to print uh, self dot uh, name uh, self dot name is running. Okay. Now, after this, I have another class. Class dog. Now this class inherit from our animal class. Uh, right now uh, I don't write anything in here, but you can write if you want. So I have another class that is class cat, and it also inherit from animal class. Okay. Now uh, if I create the object of dog, so d dog, and uh, uh, if I d dot. Now you can see we have access to the name and to the run method of our base class that is animal. So let me just uh, and in here write doc. Okay. Now if I run this, now you can see doc is running. And if I create the object of cat, so cat uh, and mm, let me write it cat and cat dot run you can see now it also uh, access to the method and the 
attribute of our base class so let me write cat and if I run this you will see that I receive uh, cat is running now uh, I have said that uh, uh, there is no relationship between those these two classes uh, let me show you uh, prove this for example in here I have a diff walk uh, in here I have let me print uh, dog is walking okay now uh, for do for dog uh, if I uh, write d dot you can see in here uh, I have run and also I have walk now if I run this you can see that uh, dog is walking but in my cat if I say cat dot you can see I have just run a name there is no walk by this reason we can tell that there is no relationship between the draft classes of hierarchical inheritance so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos subscribe to my channel and also like the videos